Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you're doing really well. Staying safe, taking care of yourself. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for tuning in or stopping by, whatever you call it. But I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I use various software products to edit my images. Today I'm in Luminar 4 and I've got kind of a quick tip video for you about brush masking. Let me just hop into it. Here's a photo. I've already done a couple of things to in the light tool. I did a little bit of color work and some contrast, etc. And AI Enhance, I did a little bit as well. So let me show you the base photo. There it is, and there it is now. And I'm gonna do some more, but what I wanted to talk about is brush masking. So here's what you often see me do in my videos, and that is I'll take AI Structure, and I'll just drag it to the right, and then I'll click on Edit Mask and Brush, and then I'll come over here and I'll start painting it in. Now, the first thing to be aware of is the bracket key, the square bracket key. If you move that to the right, that increases the size of your cursor and to the left that decreases the size. Also, if you hit the X key, it changes it from paint to erase. So there it is, erase, and I hit X again, back to paint. So those are pretty handy little hot keys that I use quite a bit. And in fact, there's one more, and that is the shift key. If you use shift with the square bracket and you go to the left, that is decreasing the softness. In other words, the edge becomes harder or more defined, whereas if you shift and right bracket key, you create a softer um, brush. So I usually use a fairly soft brush, maybe about like that. Actually, you know what? I actually probably use pretty much highest softness, 100%, and left bracket key to decrease the size. Now, here's what I'm talking about. You often see me doing this where I just come in and I brush in here uh, any kind of... Um, um, filter, tool, whatever you want to call it. In this case, I'm on structure. And hey, I made a mess, so I'm going to hit X. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to kind of paint over that to clean that up a little bit because, you know, I want it to be a little cleaner. But uh, now I'm going to hit X again to go back to paint. Here's what I'm talking about. This is a really cool tip. Now, you may have seen this before, but I've done that in a few videos, but I don't really ever talk about it. Some people probably know of this from using it in other software apps. Some people may not, but here's something I recommend. If you have a big area like that entire sidewalk walkway in this bottom left side of the image, here's what I would do. I would say shift and bracket key. I would make the brush as hard as possible. And there's a cool trick for getting a straight line, which is really hard to do because I don't ever get straight lines. For example, if I'm trying to paint down here, you know, my, with my mouse, I get kind of all crooked and all that. So I'm gonna increase my bracket, uh, hit X, and I'm gonna erase this real quick because I wanna show you this little tip. There we go. Let's just clean that up. I'm gonna hit X again, and I'm gonna decrease the size of my mouse. So here's a, a tip for a straight line. Click once where you wanna start, and then move where you want to finish, and then hold down the shift key and click there. It makes a straight line. You can just continue doing this all the way down your image. And in fact, you could just come all the way to the end and do that. Then you can come over here, do that sort of thing, and like that. And then you've got an area outlined. You might come in here and do it again with a bigger brush and just start uh, creating more and more uh, quickly covering that area. That is a great way, and I need to finish that. Um, there we go. That is a great way to A, get a straight line, and B, to cover a huge area because that's a big area. And what I'll often do is have a pretty soft brush, and then you see me kind of painting along, and then sometimes I get over the edges, and I'm like, hey, we're all friends here, or whatever. I kind of say that a lot, but I, I do think that we're all friends here. But regardless, um, I do those kind of things a lot, and I don't ever really talk about this tip or this trick. And it's super helpful as you saw. So I was able to quickly get that done and paint in that area. And now the structure is applied exactly where I want it. And then I would use this again. I'm going to go add a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to make a couple of more edits to this photo. First thing I want to do is get in the light tool. I want to cool it off a little bit more. I kind of like that bluer kind of look. This was an early morning in Paris. But in this case, I want to soften the water. So once again, I'll use negative structure. And you can see it's softening up the entire photo. I'm going to go boost, and I just really want to create more of that long exposure look in the water. And then I'm going to come in here and say edit mask. So brush, and um, I'm in paint mode, left bracket key to shrink the size of that. And in these tighter areas like this, I would be kind of um, inclined to just um, use a small brush and go uh, gently and quickly. i got to look around my mic, but I want to look over here, and I'm just coming along, and I'm hitting the shift key. 
and all I'm doing is outlining my area, right? So I'm just basically outlining the area that I want to uh, blend together, and there you go. So then once again, right bracket key. So I'm gonna click there once, and then shift, and come over here, and do this kind of stuff. And I'm just holding the shift key down. I missed that. Um, and you can you know, let go and paint if you want, but I kind of like just doing that quick straight shot there. Uh, and then I need to do a little cleanup. Uh, here we go. But you can see that I'm quickly able to cover a large area with a fairly accurate brush because uh, I made it hard. So you do want to be careful about the edges, but because of that shift and click, um, sort of tip, you can quickly cover an area and then fill it in really rapidly. And that's allowed me to quickly go from kind of my base image, which is that, to this image, which uh, is closer to what I like. Now, I'm probably not done editing the photo. That's kind of beside the point. I mostly wanted to share a couple of things with you. Number one, the bracket key left and right to increase or decrease the size. I think you know that. X key, which will shift you back and forth. I should say switch you back and forth between paint and erase the shift and the bracket key in order to increase or decrease the softness. And of course the shift click to make a straight line, which is really the big tip in this video. Super helpful, super handy. I hope it helps you in your editing and the fun that you're having with your photos. Thanks for watching my friends. I'll catch you real soon. Have a good one. Take care and adios.